Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to get Bitcoin and cryptocurrency prices and data into your Google Sheet using a free API. So the first thing you should do is find a crypto API that you want to use. For this example, we're going to use rapidapi.com, which is a marketplace for different APIs. In rapidapi.com, I searched for crypto and I got presented with all of these different crypto API options that I can use. So for this example, I'm going to use this coin ranking API to get crypto data and prices, but you're free to use any of these other APIs you wish, such as coin paprika or coin gecko. So let's go to the coin ranking API. And if you have not already go to the pricing tab and subscribe to one of the plans. In this case, I subscribe to the $0 per month plan. Once you're finished subscribing to one of the plans, head back over to the endpoints tab. And in the endpoints tab, in the menu on the left, you're going to see all of the different endpoints that you can call from this API. For example, this first endpoint we can use to get a list of all the coins available by this API. We can also get a specific coin, which gives us data about a specific coin. We can get coin prices for a specific coin, coin price history, and there's a bunch of other endpoints to choose from as well. If this endpoint does not provide uh, the, the specific data that you need, you can always feel free to try other APIs and all the different APIs have different endpoints with different data. So if one API does not have the data that you need, feel free to try another API. So let's continue on with our example. So we're going to get a specific coins price. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to switch this to shell curl. And this gives us a easier view of the API URL and headers that we need to enter into Epiphany. So with that said, let's open a new Google Sheet. And the next step we need to take is to install and open the Epiphany API connector for Google Sheets. If you have not already installed Epiphany, click Extensions, Add-ons, Get Add-ons, and search for Epiphany, A-P-I-P-H-E-N-Y. After you've searched for and installed Epiphany, you're going to see it here in your extensions menu. So just click extensions, Epiphany, and then import API to open the Epiphany sidebar in your Google Sheet. After you've opened Epiphany, we need to enter a few things into it in order to make our API request. So the first thing we need to enter is an API URL. So you can see here we're using the get coin price uh, endpoint, which uh, gets the price for a specific coin. And we can see that the method that this endpoint uses is get. And you can see it says request get right here. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that get is chosen for the method in the top of Epiphany. Next, we need to enter our API URL. So you can see it says URL right here. We're going to copy this URL and we're going to enter it into Epiphany right here where it says API URL path. And the last thing we need to enter is a couple of headers. So the first header is XRapid API host. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to add a new header in Epiphany and I'm going to enter that as the key. And for the value, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to enter that as the value. Now we need to add one more header. So I'm going to click add header one more time and I'm going to copy the second header, which is XRapid API key. And I'm going to head, enter that into the key. And for the value, we're going to copy our API key and enter that right here. So there's also some additional parameters that we can play around with. So the required parameter is the UUID, which is the ID of the crypto uh, coin that we want to get the price of. This crypto, uh, this ID is for Bitcoin, which I'll show you in a second. And I'll show you how to get the IDs of the other coins in a moment. And we also have a couple of optional parameters, um, including reference currency UUID. I'm going to remove that parameter and we can see that our URL is a little bit different now. So I'm going to copy the updated URL and I'm going to paste it here in Epiphany. And the next thing I can do is click run. So let's open a new sheet and click run, run again.
And just like that, we've made a successful request to the coin ranking API and we got the Bitcoin current price from this API. You can change the, the currency ID, which is one of the parameters in the API URL, if you wish to get the price for a different coin. And the way that you can get the uh, ID for all of the different coins is, use, is to use this endpoint, get coins. So I'm going to copy the URL for this endpoint and I'm going to paste it in Epiphany. I'll open a new sheet and I'll click run. The headers are the same so we don't need to change anything there. And now you can see that we've imported a list of all of the different cryptos that this API offers. So you can see all the different cryptos right here along with their IDs right here. So if we wanted to get the price of Doge, for example, we can copy the ID of that crypto. We can go to the get coin price endpoint, copy the URL, paste it into Epiphany, and copy the ID of Doge, which is this, and replace the Bitcoin ID with the Doge ID. And now when I click run, we can see that Doge's current price is nine cents. So that's how you can use the coin ranking API in Google Sheets along with the Epiphany add-on. And this is just one of many crypto APIs that you can use. So again, on Rapid API, you can uh, use either the coin ranking API, coin paprika, coin gecko, and when you hover your mouse over it, you can see some of the endpoints that this API offers. And when you click into the API, you'll be able to view a full list of all the different endpoints that this API offers. So feel free to play, play around with the different crypto APIs to get the exact data that you need into your Google Sheet. And it's as simple as that. Just download Epiphany, enter your API URL, your headers, and click Run, and you'll get the data you need into your sheet. So I hope that's helpful for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments. Thanks and have a great day.